Hello and welcome to the Design Process App Tutorial. We're going to start by signing in to Thunkable.com. It's going to use a Google sign-in. We're going to go ahead and click on Android here. That's the type of app we're developing is an Android and we're going to sign in with Google. It may remember you or you may need to type in a username and password. To get into Thunkable you will need a Google account. Now when you're in here these are the apps that have been made in your account. Um, you don't want to touch any of the other ones because other people might be using those if you have shared accounts. Today we're going to go to Create New App. So first you click on Create New App, and then you're going to title your app. Now in this tab over here, I'm going to show you my app planning worksheet. I've decided to call my app STEMtastic because we're making a design process app for when someone does a STEM project. So I'm going to go ahead and call my app STEMtastic and click OK. Now, keep in mind, you can't use any numbers or symbols in your app name, so just make sure that you don't have anything funky going on there. All right, so this is our first uh, screen of our app, and we have two different things we can look at here. We have a palette on the left, and we have properties on the right. The palette has different elements we can drag over, and the properties is how we change things about those elements. So what do I want on my first screen? Well, let's take a look at my worksheet over here. I've decided on my first screen, screen one, that I want a title and four buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and do that over here. My four buttons um, are going to be labeled with the different stages of the design process. And for this purpose, we're going to use Ask and Explore, Plan and Create, Test and Redesign, and Reflect and Share. Your STEM design process in your school might be a little different, um, but whatever you want to use, you can choose here. Uh, for the wording. So we're going to start with a label for that title that we had. And I'm just going to change the text of that label. Um, notice I just dragged it over from the palette and I'm going to change the property of that label by scrolling down over here and finding the text section. I'm going to rename it from label to the name of my app. And then once I click outside of that box, it changes it here. Okay. You can also change some of the items like font size. You can make it bold. Uh, we'll have more time later to play around with the different colors and things like that. But now you have a title in your app. After that, we needed four different buttons with the text on them of the different stages. So we're going to go ahead and drag over four buttons. The first one will go right underneath here. And we're going to do the same thing in the properties. We scroll down to text and change the properties of that button. Um, so that the text will read our first stage. Um, now for mine, I'm using Ask and Explore. I need three more buttons. Uh, I have to click outside of this so that it's not highlighted, and then I'm able to drag over a second button. So Ask and Explore. The next one was Plan and Create. So we'll go ahead and type these in here. And after that, we had a third button that is test and redesign. And then our last button is where we share what we've done with other people. We think about it, we reflect on it, and we communicate what we've done. And if our solution worked or not to our design challenge or our STEM challenge. So we're going to do reflect and share for this last one. All right, now we need these buttons to go somewhere. And so on my worksheet, I've started thinking about that. Um, and this first button, I want to go to a new screen called Screen 2, where we just give a little description of Ask and Explore and a picture that represents the Ask and Explore stages. We also need a button that will go back home. So if I have an, a screen that's called Ask and Explore, I'm also going to want one for Plan and Create, Test and Redesign, Reflect and Share. So I want you to pause the video and talk about how many screens total is this app going to have. All right, what do you think? Do you, uh, have you figured out how many screens this app needs? I have one screen here, screen one. This one's going to go to screen two, screen three, screen four, and screen five. So we need five total app, uh, screens for our app. To add a screen, I go back over here, and in the top right-hand corner, I have this option to add a screen. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at screen. Oh, no, you know what? Let's change it. We're going to change it to ask and explore. You can't use symbols in these, so I'm just going to combine the two words like that using capital letters to distinguish between the two. Um, and then you click OK. And once that screen is made, you'll know because it will pop up blank. And we'll do things to that screen later, but we're going to keep adding the rest of our screens. So we're going to add our second screen, which was 
plan and create. Click OK. You can call them whatever you want, but keep in mind later when we code the behind the scenes blocks, we need to make sure that we are using the exact language that we type in here. So that will be important. Um, so I'm adding another screen, and this one will be test and redesign. And our very last screen will be uh, reflect and share. So I'll go ahead and add it. Notice how I had to wait in between um, each of these because it does take a few seconds for it to actually create the screen and then pop up here. Once I see the title at the top there, I know that it's done. So I'm going to go back to screen one. Um, and I'm going to think about what I need to do to um, code these. So this right here, this first button is button one. And you can see on the property side over here of our, our different elements or our components, they have them labeled with button one, two, three, and four. So this is button one, two, three, and four. We're going to now go and code those to go to the second, third, fourth, and fifth screens. So I'll go into my blocks. And on the left-hand side over here, if I click on the button one and take this top option, when button one is clicked, I drag it over. I want to do something to it. I want to control that button. So I'm going to go into the control option. I'm going to scroll down to open another screen. And what do you think that screen name should be? Go ahead and pause the video, and we'll, then we'll talk about what should that screen name be. All right, so now you're back and we're thinking about the name of that screen. We're going to grab a text block to type it in. So this pink category over here called text, just scroll up and grab that top button up there, which is a blank text box. We want this screen to be Ask Explore. Remember, just exactly the way we typed it in over here, Ask Explore. So we want that first button to go Ask Explore. You want to keep doing that for the rest of your buttons. I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly here. I'm going to go to button two. And for that one, we want to open another screen, grab a text box, and this one is called Plan Create. I'll type that in here. And then we'll pull over a third button. Button number three is going to go to, let's get this here, open another screen. Button number three is going to go to Test and Redesign. So I will grab a text box, drag it over. This should feel pretty repetitive now because we've been doing the same thing. And button four, it's really important that these are correct because when we test out the app, um, it won't work if we put in the wrong titles or if we have a button coded going to a wrong location. So this is our last button. And then we're gonna put in the text, which is, right here and the very last one is reflect and share all right i'm just going to double check and make sure everything is spelled correctly ask explore plan create test redesign reflect share and we'll go back to the designer and these buttons are now coded we are done for this video and we're going to go into what we do on each of these pages in the next few videos